Okay, uh, well, they're both black. One guy's trying to stab another guy with a knife. Deadly force is completely justified. Uh-huh. I see. So you don't care if a black person kills another black person, but you do care if a white cop kills a black person, even if he's doing it to save the life of another black person? I mean, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but then again, you are really good at basketball, so I guess I'll take your word for it. All right. Yep. Okay. All right. Thanks, LeBron. Michael Jordan's the GOAT. What? Nothing. I got to go. Sorry, guys. You're on your own. Good luck. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. <laughs> that last part still tickles me every time I hear it. <laughs> LeBron James. I mean, you nailed it. So what happened? You, got, you lost your job. Is it because right. of this? Did you do anything else, you know, that they didn't like? What's the deal? Well, it's it's a continuation of the LeBron James TikTok and I guess the controversy uh, that stemmed from that, if you if you want to call it a controversy. Uh, the, the reason they gave me on paper when they handed me my notice of termination um, was that uh, I used body camera footage in a different TikTok that I didn't get permission to use. Um, there wasn't a specific policy uh, cited um, that, that they're claiming that I violated. They just simply said that I, I didn't get permission. But I've used body camera footage in, in other TikToks uh, on my account, um, and those they didn't have an issue with those. Uh, so, you know, how was I supposed to... Uh, I guess, how was I supposed to be aware that this this particular TikTok was, was going to be an issue? And it shouldn't have. It didn't have any, there was no political undertones. There there was no message I was trying to send other than simply humanizing the badge like I do with every other one of my videos. Uh, the, the video that they're talking about was, uh, it was body camera footage depicting me giving a Subway employee an extra large tip after she had a really bad day. And the purpose behind that video was simply to show that this is how most police interactions go with officers interacting with members of the public, resolving minor disputes, and, and, and sometimes these little random acts of kindness that help make a person's day better. Um, but, you know, we, we can't have that. We can't have officers being seen in a positive light. So uh, that was the reason they tell me that I was fired. By the way, the mayor of Bellevue, I want to show you something that he has done and said he's encouraged officers in your department last summer to take a knee. That happened in support of Black Lives Matter. So maybe you can be political as long as those politics are to the left. He put out a statement. He said many things, very supportive of the Black Lives Matter movement. He has not been afraid to uh, discuss those issues. So look, let me ask you, um, do you wanna be, I think you have a big future as an influencer potentially or a writer or who knows what, but do you wanna get back into law enforcement and are you appealing this? I'm not a, I'm not appealing the decision uh, for termination. I'm not fighting for my job at this point. Uh, and that's I mean, that's a really good question. I, I do love police work. I love being a police officer. Um, it was it was an important job that I enjoyed doing. Um, but as you mentioned, I think right now I have a future um, as a writer, as an influencer and as an advocate for other uh, for other police officers. And unfortunately, you can't do that and wear the badge at the same time because of policy constraints and and, and elected officials like mayors of Bellevue, Idaho, who simply want to silence you when your political beliefs don't align with their own. So yeah. I think I can make a much bigger difference not being a police officer at this point. I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm also kind of excited to hear that. The book is uh, coming out in September, and uh, there it is, Never Off Duty. And oh, with a cell phone, because you guys are always being documented. They're always trying to catch you. And well, Nate, I think great yeah. things are to come. And uh, let's stay in touch, okay? Nate Sylvester, we appreciate it very much. We'll be right back. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Thanks, Mel. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.